going. Hey guys, welcome back to the farm. My name is Jake, and today we're gonna to be slabbing this big guy. So this is the tree um, that I cut down from over there. So that was a fun one, Lauren and I did that. So it's been sitting here for about a year, which is probably too long to do this, but it's huge. Um, I'm hoping my chainsaw mill will fit through it, but the idea is we're going to slab this as wide as I can down the middle, um, and make a outdoor dining table out of it. So yeah, to fit like 20 people. So we'll see how that goes, but I got a couple checks in it here. So I think I got one on that side on both sides so I'm gonna try and hit that one um, so we'll get this rotated over and uh, get set up and see how this goes never done this before so uh, be a learning experience for both of us little tip if you're uh, moving forks you point them downward it relieves the pressure off the plate here and you can move them really easy We're gonna try and get this rotated so that check or split, I guess it is, down the middle. Um, that's a little more flat, a little more parallel to the ground. Looks pretty good. All right, ran into our first problem. This tree is roughly 35 inches across down here at the base. I have a 36 inch bar, which means I will not be able to cut through that. So what I'm gonna do is kind of change tactics here. Um, and we're gonna cut the bottom of the tree off. So then it's roughly 30, 32 inches um, right here-ish, which will still give me a 12 foot table. So that's pretty awesome. Um, and then that'll kind of also let me know if that split goes through the tree or if it's just on the ends. Um, hopefully it's just on the ends and we can kind of work with that. Um, and if that is the case, I might try and rotate this over, but you can see this is, uh, seen better days here. So 
I'm sure the outside is not the best. It was rotten when I cut it down and it's been sitting on the ground for a while, but um, is what it is. Let's see what it looks like. Well, that was probably one of the uh, worst cuts I've done. I mean, that wasn't straight at all. Um, you can see the split does go down. So I'm assuming that goes the whole way. So we're gonna continue to get through here. So hopefully I can get a nice four inch chunk. Um, well, technically if I cut close to that line, go right above, but we'll figure it out. Maybe I can get two uh, pretty good sized ones. So we're gonna get the uh, guide back on the chainsaw and uh, set up and make our first cut. Well, I know this isn't ideal, but I don't have a steel board. So what I got is a two by six. Um, it's pretty straight. We're gonna shim it up a little bit to make it uh, work with the tree here. Um, but the thing that this will let me do is I'll have a little area to rest the saw before I get onto the tree. And then same thing on this side, I'll have an area to rest it um, when I get off. But what we're gonna do is shim it up a little bit so that it's fairly level. I'm gonna put some more support under the two by six to keep it from bending. But you can see we're pretty okay there. You can see there's some warping and that's just the two by six. So hopefully it's not um, that bad with running the saw across it. The first cut is the important one because that kind of dictates all your other cuts. So we'll see how this goes. I'm not making fine furniture. I'm just kind of getting rough cut. I can always plane it down afterwards if I need to. Well, let's see how this works. We are all set up. We are ready to start milling. I got this set at six inches, which will clear, should clear all the screws that I have. Um, so we're gonna give it a go. All right, remove this no trespassing sign. And uh, let's see how this bad boy works.
All right, here is what we got. And you can see it is not that parallel with the board up top. So we got that on that side. And the same on that side. So at least it cut um, uneven on both sides. But let's get this board off and see what it looks like. Leaving that board on, it uh, made a pretty nice little handle for me. That's not bad. Let me get this out of here. Got some rot down here. Because we're not using this top board. A little squishy there. Same on the ends. I was expecting that though because it's kind of rotten. It's not perfect, but it's not terrible. It's a lot better than I was expecting considering a chainsaw mill cost 100 bucks. You can see we got a little bit of soft there. Same over here. But this isn't the piece we want. We want it down farther, which I'm guessing it'll be about the same. But I'm going to adjust the saw and we're gonna kind of cut some slabs here. It's pretty exciting. thing it sure eats through gas I did um, a full tank yeah we're getting more into the uh, soft stuff there that's okay could be a cool epoxy top it looks like a nail there so that was in there really far I think it's a bullet. It's too skinny. All right. So next one's getting cut at the same dimension. And then um, we're gonna do the bigger cut for the five and a half inch one. Okay. We are on day number two here of using the chainsaw mill to cut up this log. This was a 36 inch log, cut it down to 32 inches um, in diameter, which is barely big enough for this thing. So we're gonna kinda have to work it in uh, one way or another here. Um, so yeah, let's get back to it.
finally got this one done. That's not easy. I think my chain's kind of dull too, so probably need to sharpen that up. Um, ended up cutting this at four and a half inches. So this should be pretty fun to uh, move and pick up. You can see right here, we ended up right above that crack. So let's get this sucker off, see what it looks like underneath. Another good look inside. The uh, dark coloring is really coming through on this one. But you can see this is where it was split right here. So I'm going to try and get a couple more boards out of this. But uh, not too bad. Well, guys, I think that's where I'm going to end this video. I'm going to go ahead and cut some more slabs on this, but it's pretty much the same process. Um, this thing worked pretty good. Not bad for a hundred bucks on Amazon. And I will put a link in the description uh, below to this guy. So worked on the steel MS462C with the 36 inch bar. Um, pretty good. Milled, uh, milled pretty evenly. I had a problem on this last one with the front. I guess it was this side uh, coming up a little bit. So maybe an eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch, not much. Um, so I'm not too worried about it. But as usual, guys, if you like this video, hit that like button. It really helps us out with that YouTube algorithm. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you subscribe. See how this table's going to finish up. And make sure you turn on those notifications to catch future updates. And we'll see everybody next time here on the farm.